Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We are in the workshop today working on our Proline Profusion SC 4x4. Now this is a, uh, a kit. You build this from the ground up, very similar to our uh, our Proline Pro MT 4x4, except this one has a little bit of a longer chassis. Uh, but it shares pretty much, um, you know, 90 plus percent of the parts. Uh, and we are going to start building it. The, the Pro MT comes as a almost ready to run. You basically just put in your electronics. Um, the, the Pro Fusion, you get to build the way you like it from the ground up. So we've got our manual. And we're going to be basically walking you guys through this whole build process. Uh, from start to finish. So, the instruction booklet, always really important uh, and actually required to, to work on this RC. You're probably not gonna get too far without it. So get used to it, uh, make it your best friend. Probably one of the things I like to do the most is making uh, making a copy of this. You know, the, you can, these are all available via ProLine's website as well, so you can download the PDF file uh, print an extra one of these out, you know, put it in a binder or whatnot, um, you know, uh, however you want to do it. You can write your notes on here too if you'd like. Uh, so regardless, just, just some tips for you there. Uh, definitely read over the the instructions here. Um, our um, our ProLine uh, uh, Profusion uh, SC here, we're, we're going to include some key upgrades and so we'll, we'll include those as we go through this process so you're gonna need a couple things here you know I won't bother going through all this of course you're gonna need the electronics uh, you're gonna actually need to supply your own body and paint as well as tires and wheels so uh, another difference between the the Pro Fusion and the Pro MT is that the the Pro MT comes with uh, a body you still have to paint it yourself and it comes with tires and wheels um, here you're free to make your own selections which is nice um, we have decided to go with the new Proline Trenchers uh, HP or HP Trenchers and those are 2.8 inch belted tires so the the belted or they're, they're belted internally to um, to prevent the pizza cutter effect you know the 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 um, the increase in the diameter of the wheels as they spin faster there so especially pertinent in in high power you know high horsepower uh, builds like ours is going to be um, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, some tools, you know, you're going to need some hex drivers, nut drivers, um, side cutters, you know, server tape, thread lock, um, pretty much stuff that you're going to already have in your toolbox. Hopefully, uh, it does come with a wheel wrench and a three millimeter hex key, but you will need to provide those, uh, one and a half, two millimeter and two and a half millimeter hex drivers. So, uh, the, we're going to start with bag A over here, right? So it is labeled. Uh, this is nice here, the, the actual size of the hardware, so you can lay these parts on top to make sure that you have the right ones. Um, you're going to need some scissors too, unless you like to tear your bags open. But uh, we're going to start here with um, bag A. And so this is the, ooh, this is the assembly of the differential. It looks like this might have leaked out here. Yes, it did. Uh, the diff fluid here. It's pretty thick stuff. Um, fortunately, it didn't get on the bottom there, but I'm going to put it on some plastic nonetheless. All right, so we got some of the pieces here. It looks like the, the bulkheads. And I'm going to cut the bag in a different spot so it doesn't get all greasy from that diff fluid. That molasses like diff fluid. Oh, and it, yeah, some of it gone on the bulkhead there. I'm gonna find some of the tools. There's that 17 millimeter hex. Um, the differential internals. Some of the braces there. Uh, more differential internals. The spur gear. Um, the other, the ring gears. The gaskets and I think these are the um, the steering pins there. So I'm gonna put this bag over to the side. 
Let me wipe my hands off a little bit there. Um, all right, so the first upgrade we, we are going to use are these upgraded diff cups from Kraken RC. Now these are beautifully machined. You can see that over here. It's really well made. You can see, actually I, I, it's worth mentioning at this point, go into the video description. You'll see a link to our entire playlist for this truck. I will include a, a playlist for our Pro MT 4x4 as well. Uh, but this is a definitely a key upgrade here are these uh, these you know billet aluminum these are very nicely machined div cases and I'm just making sure that there's no debris because I did have this bag open so uh, let's see here so we'll be replacing the the plastic um, the plastic um, stock. Okay, so each of the discs comes in its own bag here. Uh, okay, these have the outdrives. Oh, actually, all of them will have outdrives. Look, look, looks like they're all identical. They should be all identical, minus the gears. All right, so we'll cut, cut open one of these bags and get started here. So, instead of the stock plastic, well, it's nice they, they have um, metal inserts in the, in the stock. Uh, div casings there. We're going to be keeping those as extras. Never hurts to have spares, especially between the, the two trucks here. So again, you can look at the difference between the metal and plastic there. Plastic is pretty high quality as well. Again, it's a really nice touch that they have the the metal inserts, almost bronze, you know, bushing inserts in the diff housing there. And it, you know, it is machined to, to have that square O-ring to seal it uh, in these. I never took a, or I, I haven't taken a look at these yet because we haven't disassembled the diffs off of our Pro-MT, but pretty, pretty, um, pretty impressed here by the quality of, of, uh, of parts here and these these uh, will actually hold those dip pins in anyways we'll put those off to the side those are the plastic ones put them over here all right so first we want to take okay so we want an o-ring These are really small O-rings. I'm going to be careful not to lose these. So it is a, a 4.7 by 0.5 O-ring, which is tiny. All right, so getting one of these tiny O-rings out. Uh, looks like the Differential output shafts are identical left to right here. So it looks like that just goes over here. Let's slide that, yep, that just goes under the end. Really nice touch there that so that these will seal completely. And I'm going to, where are the bearings? Looks like all the bearings are in this bag. And there's shims too. Wonder where those are. Okay, those are in that bag. Okay. So a couple of different locations for the bag here. And I haven't built a kit in quite some time. It's been a couple years since I, I built an RC kit. Usually we um We do a bunch of RTRs or, you know, rebuild RTRs. Okay, so this will go on the end over there and then put the housing in. All right, and on the inside, you'll want to put 
one of the larger O-rings. These are tough to get out. <laughs> but you don't want to lose them. Okay, I'm going to cut this a little bit bigger here so I can reach in and grab an O-ring. Alright, and grab a diff shim. You're supposed to install the drive pin on the inside of once you get these in here. Okay, so that O ring goes in nicely over there. And then I'm supposed to get the pin in. Uh, probably need to get some needle nose. All right, we didn't end up needing a, a pair of those needle nose, but you can see here, uh, make sure that that shim is pushed down all the way against the O-ring beneath it. Uh, and then you can finagle that that uh, that diff drive pin in there. We we just used a hex driver to to kind of ease it in, and then you will drop a gear on top of it. Get lining the slot in the gear with the pin below it. All right, there we go. So that is one side. That is step one of getting our diff together. Uh, we're, we'll get the other side together now. So grab one of those really small O-rings. Put it over the top of the. Output shaft, diffed out output shaft. All right. And on the other side, it's a similar thing. We are going to put it through. Again, we're using these Kraken diff cases here. So put it in there. And get one of the larger. Oh, these are tough to get out. <laughs> okay. Put the O ring on this side. And again, you can see how well machined this is. It's Really high quality stuff here. Courtesy of Kraken and Proline. Uh, get another diff shim. Put that on top. Get a pin. And put that through. And. Get one of the diff gears, again, lining it up with the pin and putting it on top. And our, our next step here is going to be filling the diffs. So um, stay tuned for our next episode here. We're going to be um, selecting the diff oils. You know, they, they say to put 500,000 weight oil in the center diff and then um, front and rear diffs just putting grease. But we're going to go ahead and put some silicone diff fluids in all all the diff gears or all the diffs here. So let us know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you next time.